everyone, Sarah here. We are gonna be making one of my very favorite salads today. We are gonna be making Thai chicken salad, but we are gonna be making the plant-based version with a shredded jackfruit. And the very first thing that we are gonna do is we are going to make the um, garlic ginger poppy seed dressing. I like to make that first so that it has time for all those flavors to really meld together. And if you really have your act together, if you make it like maybe a couple hours before you go to serve your salad, you will really be able to taste all of those yummy flavors. So I'm just gonna show you how quickly and easily you can put this together, and then we'll kind of walk through the steps of the rest of the salad. So the dressing that I love is the Brianna's poppy seed dressing. It's gluten-free, vegan, no MSG, and works for just about most diets. I won't say any because I know there could be some ingredients in there. Um, and then we're gonna use uh, just like a chunk of ginger, fresh ginger, and then like three to four garlic cloves. That's all we need for our dressing. So first thing I do is I'm just gonna use the um, measure mix and pour here. And I put about a half of the bottle of dressing in. And then I'm gonna put in my garlic and ginger. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the dressing on so that like all my ingredients are at the very bottom and I'm trying to bring them up to the top. They're right in the middle and I'm just trying to mix them. So we'll start with the easy peasy here, our fresh garlic. Don't have to peel it. We're literally just gonna press it right in and then use our little brush to scrape out the peel and repeat for our additional pieces of garlic. If you prefer to peel your garlic, you absolutely can. Um, I just love that I don't even have to mess with it and I can just scrape it out. So. And so you can kind of decide, depending on the size of your garlic cloves, how many you want to use. Uh, two of these were kind of small, that's why I did four, but typically if they were on the larger size, I would probably uh, do three. So you can kind of judge accordingly. All right, we got one more, and then we are going to um, add our fresh ginger. And I am going to use the garlic press for, don't want to lose any of that yummy garlic, right? Um, so what I've done is just taken um, like about a one inch chunk of ginger and then I don't like get crazy about peeling it, but I get a good portion of the peel off and then just cut it into chunks and we are going to put that right into our garlic press as well. Oh, got to get that last little bit of that last peel out because it won't come through otherwise. Okay, so we're just gonna put that inside and we are gonna get all that nice ginger juice and flesh in there. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing that we did and scrape that right in. And then um, you do want to, cause like the, I don't know how you say it, like the harder um, kind of fibrous part of the ginger will stay inside the ginger uh, the garlic press, so you want to make sure to scrape that out so that it doesn't just pile on top of each other and you're able to continue to press um, the ginger through. So same idea as your um, fresh garlic. All right, almost done here. You guys get the idea though. And then we're going to add the rest of our dressing on top and we are going to mix everything up together. I'm gonna to pop this in the refrigerator and then we will jump on to preparing our greens and chopping up the veggies that go in our salad. So you guys will have to let me know what some of your favorite salads or salad ingredients are. And um, I can maybe you share yours and I'll find some more of my favorite uh, salad recipes. And um, we can try some different things together. All right, here we go. Last little piece here. Okay, we get all that good ginger in there. And then we'll put the last little bit of dressing in there. And I'll even after the fact, let this sit upside down to get the last little bit out. But you get the idea. And then we'll put the lid on and we will 
and mix this all together and pop it in the refrigerator so that it is ready for our salad very shortly. Okay, next portion that we are going to do is we are going to um, prepare the greens for our salad. So I am going to use our salad and berry spinner to uh, completely wash our greens. I will tell you guys, even if your uh, container or your bag of greens says like triple wash, still wash it. Um, sometimes there can be this kind of like green coloring that comes off of it, um, all kinds of different stuff. So I would just always encourage you to wash your greens. Another thing that I learned a few years ago was I used to just kind of put them in the basket and kind of spray over top. One of the things I found that really helps is if you actually fill your bowl where the greens are completely covered and kind of just push them around a little bit so that you can see actually that everything is kind of getting immersed into your water. And then, let's see, we will lift that up and you can kind of see that that's got kind of a greenish brown tinge to it, which nobody really wants to eat, right? And these were uh, organic and washed and ready to eat. So definitely always want to uh, give your greens a rinse, okay? So run that out. And then I usually just spray it off a little bit more and then we'll put it in the bowl and start blowing all the water off, okay? So, just using the kitchen sprayer on my kitchen sink, okay? So then we'll just put that back in there, we'll put our lid on and we'll get a lot of the water off of our greens, okay? So you're just gonna pump the handle a few times so it gets going really quick and then the key is the brake, hit the brake and get all of that water to start blowing out of there. You can see how much water we got out of there already. So we're going to do that a couple times and if you see any greens in there that kind of look a little weird that maybe you missed, grab those. Uh, that's kind of when they expose themselves. Uh, okay. Hit the brake because then it's going to kind of splash all that water out of there. And what happens, the reason that your greens go bad so quickly is because there's condensation left on the greens and it has nowhere to go. So if it's like in a container or a bag, they're just kind of sitting on it. So what I'll actually do is when I'm all done with this, if we don't use all of these greens, um, the salad and berry spinner that I use from the Pamper Chef has a storage lid. So I just put the storage lid on and because it's a bowl, in a basket. I'll put that in the refrigerator for maybe one or two days and what happens is if there's any leftover condensation it will end up in the bowl because the basket allows it to breathe and then I can put those in a container and store them for a couple weeks and they'll stay um, completely good, won't get slimy and weird. Okay, next two ingredients we are going to prepare are our red bell pepper and our cucumber. So for the cucumber, I have cut it into four pieces and then we're actually going to cut it in half horizontally and so we can make um, kind of like moons, cucumber moons. And then we are going to also do our, oh, there's a little weird spot, let's cut that off. Nobody wants a weird spot on their cucumber, right? <laughs> okay, so we are going to put these next to each other and then kind of just rock straight down. We've got um, then cucumber moons and I recently started cutting those in half after and really liking that kind of dice on the salad. So um, you could probably even cut that in half beforehand but I was kind of afraid they would wiggle apart, so I kind of do it afterwards. Um, I'm using the quick slice to create our slices here. So just straight down, and then once it gets on the cutting mat, just throw that right in there. Okay. And we can kind of just grab that there. And that works. And I'm just throwing them in a bowl because we're gonna top all of our, we're gonna, we're gonna layer it all up once we are done, okay? So I will continue doing the cucumbers, finish those up, you guys get the idea. And then with the bell pepper, I wanted to show you guys a quick little trick that I learned 
uh, the very beginning of my Pampered Chef business. So instead of cutting all the way through the cucumber, this is the cucumber, bell pepper, you're gonna just cut through the skin and you're gonna go all the way around your bell pepper, creating a little lip, right? So not cutting through the seeds, but just the skin. And then you're gonna just slide your thumb inside and you can pull all of the seeds out at once instead of having to uh, kind of scoop all of them out of course. Then I um, take my bell pepper and we'll just do one section. And if there's any additional seeds there, you can pull those out. And then I am just gonna cut this into a couple of chunks. And then we are going to create bell pepper uh, slices. And then we are going, no, we wanna do it this direction. So we wanna change directions, right? So we're gonna go bell pepper slices, and then we're gonna bring these over and we're just gonna turn the direction of the vegetable and we're gonna make bell pepper dices. Real quick and easy. So that is how I am going to do my bell peppers, okay? So slices, I lift it up, kind of toss it in my hand, turn it, and then straight down, and we have those nice bell pepper dices. Okay guys, last steps of our salad. So we are gonna take the jackfruit and we're gonna shred that up. I usually buy the native forest young jackfruit from um, Sprouts. So what I do, it comes in bigger chunks, is I just take it like this was a chunk kind of together and I just cut it in half. I throw it all in my manual food processor. Um, you don't want it too shredded, but you want it to kind of look like shredded chicken. That's what I'm aiming for. Here. So, I love with the manual food processor, you get to control the consistency, whether you're a righty or a lefty. Let's see how I switch them in a minute. That way I get even size guns from chopping up my jackfruit. <laughs> So just really quick and easy, your jackfruit is shredded up like chicken. We're gonna put it in our container and we are going to add some chopped up peanuts and some dressing to hold everything together, okay? So always take your blade out of your manual food processor before you try to scrape everything out so that um, you don't cut up your scraper. <laughs> A little tip there. Things I've learned. Okay. All right, so scrape all of that out of there. And then we're going to add some chopped up peanuts and a little bit of dressing to hold it all together, okay? Don't put the blade in the sink. Food Chopper, Pampered Chef Classic here. I just filled up the base with some unsalted peanuts and we are going to chop those. They create a nice texture. Uh, so you can see they're all nice and chopped up. Sometimes people use the Food Chopper without the base. Um, I do for certain things for peanuts or something that I'm gonna dump into another bowl, I do use the base so that literally I can just open and dump right into my container and I don't have to sweep it off everything, anything else, okay? So we're just gonna take our dressing now that's been in the fridge and we are going to kind of just pour, I don't know, maybe about a fourth of a cup. I just kind of sprinkle some in, stir it. You want it to be like, not overly saturated, but enough that like the peanuts are gonna stick with the jackfruit to make it kind of like chicken, okay? All right, that looks fantastic. So I'm gonna get all of our layers together and we are gonna plate this salad. Okay, so I'm making this for dinner tonight. 
it's just my husband and I, so I'm gonna just plate it directly on plates. If I was um, gonna be taking this to a gathering or serving any more than two people, I would put this in um, a bowl, like a big flat bowl, or I would put it on a platter. I love to serve salads on a platter because then people can use tongs to grab all the layers like this in like a really deep bowl, the toppings tend to fall to the bottom or get all taken at once. And then as it makes its way around, not everybody gets all the yummy toppings. So basically think of my plates as a big platter and that's how we're going to uh, plate it. So I just do kind of like a big handful of greens. Might seem like a lot, but I promise totally good, okay? And so I'll just do one because you guys don't need to see me do this twice. Um, okay, secret ingredient here, Earthbound Farm uh, organic broccoli slaw mix. Adds a great crunch to your salad. Um, so I just do, again, do a big handful of that on top of my greens. It's the stems of the broccoli kind of made into strips. There's carrots. I think there's supposed to be some cabbage in there, but mm, I don't see it. Oh no, it just says organic broccoli stock and organic carrots. At one time, I think they did have some cabbage in there. Um, and then I'm gonna take some cucumbers and bell peppers, top it with that, and then I'm going to put some of the uh, jackfruit mixture right on top. And literally, that's it, guys. And then I serve it with the leftover dressing and you can top it with as much or as little dressing as you like. But this is absolutely one of our favorite salads. I do store, like, so I'll put all of the other ingredients like in a container to store, but don't put the jackfruit or the dressing on, kind of do that individually. That way nothing gets soggy and it'll keep for quite a few days and you can get all of your leftovers um, eaten and nothing gets wasted. So I hope you guys enjoy this salad and um, check back soon for more fun recipes.